I, so this is this is a great pleasure for me because I, I watched you on TV growing up, like I know a lot of America has. Uh, but this movie is is great for a number of reasons. One, because it, it covers an issue that's big in politics without being political. And that's that's right. like the educational system. That's right. So my first question to you is like, you have this long list of things that you work with from Special Olympics to right. Toys for Tots, uh, Kids Uniting Children. Right. Why do you think it's so easy for us as Americans as we get older I'll to forget exactly the kids? I'll tell you exactly why. Children don't vote. And so you can talk about them, you don't have to do much. And the fact is that look, in uh, our school system, music, just take music. Forget about acting, which is my passion. Music opens the child, makes, uh, makes math easier, uh, it, it, it opens the soul to the world, cut the program. And that's what happens in the, here comes the boom. They want to cut the program and a slacker teacher, Kevin James, he doesn't even know why, decides he is going to save the music program. I mean, I think we all know why. I think we all, if we look deep, we have to remember. I mean, we all been there. We all been in school. We all know how important right. teachers are. But it seems like nowadays, it's been so minimalized. The, it's the, true. the job of teaching. It's true, it's, and oh, especially in America. Right, right. You know, I think the underlying theme of "Here Comes the Boom" is you don't know what greatness lies in you unless you get off the mat and you just try. Right. Right. You know, I think that is the um, that's the underlying theme for me. Right, right. You know, so is that, is that why you got involved with the picture? Was it was it more than just no, the comedy I, of it? Oh, can I just say something? Yeah, I thank my lucky stars that I was smart enough to say yes. I was at Adam Sandler's star um, on Hollywood Boulevard ceremony. I spoke. Kevin spoke. Went home, had a sandwich. I think with lettuce and avocado, and Kevin called. I said, hey, Kev. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know you that well. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> he said, you want to be in my movie? I said, let me think. Okay, I'd like to do that. I didn't even read the script. I met him twice before we shook hands. Something in me just knew. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. I am so happy I said yes. I'm so happy I watched the movie. It was, it was more than what I expected out of it. And let me ask you this. Like yes. for, for, for you growing up, how important was music to you? Because, I mean, that's a big part of your character in the movie. and what he's Music is very on. important. And I'll tell you why. I can't make music, so I depend upon the kindness of strangers. <laughs> so I have music in my life. I use music when I'm memorizing, like, a monologue in a, in a movie. I will play music that is emotionally right for it. And so when I'm saying the words, I hear the music in my head, and it helps me build the intensity. I admire people who can make music, and I get the most tongue-tied. You know, I met Mick Jagger, and I said, Henry, I did. Can you move like Jagger? I can't. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, man. I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. What a, what a great chat. Oh, God. That's a tough one. It is, but you can handle it. Um, Clint Eastwood, 